So with Dragon OS, you have almost everything you need for uh, Iridium. Uh, you've got the GR Iridium, the Iridium Toolkit. Uh, i got to get around to putting the decoder in the next release, but that's a really easy thing to add in. And then, of course, you're going to need an antenna uh, like I've got pictured here. And uh, I just want to run through and show you how to get uh, GR Iridium and then the Iridium Toolkit up and running. So we're going to use, uh, and, and you know, we know in G, uh, GNU Radio 3.7 is what's currently in uh, Dragon OS, uh, and we're going to do, uh, we're going to pull down with Iridium Extractor and create output output dot bits using uh, the RTL SDR. So one thing we need to change though is we need to go in our user source GR Iridium examples folder. You'll use uh, sudo and whatever editor you're comfortable with. Let's open the rtlsdr.conf. We'll come down to device args, uncomment that, and because I want the bias uh, t working, we'll put bias equals one. Save this file. And so now you should be able to power the antenna with the uh, bias T that's actually inside the RTL SDR. And since we're going to use the example, I'm just pulling it down online. We'll use uh, something like this command here. We'll do Iridium Extractor dash D. Or, and since we're in the examples folders, we can just call RTL SDR.conf direct grep and I'm going to put this right in my home folder you'll see it'll start up you're looking for uh, the averages uh, over 50 it's probably going to be good uh, to save time. I've already ran this beforehand and saved an output.bits folder for uh, it was probably a good half an hour or so. So I'm going to stop this. And so I'm going to remove what we just saved uh, because I already had one that, uh, like I said, that I ran for a while. All right, so that's there. That's my backup of the parse that I've already did of it. So we've got the output.bits saved, and then we'll jump over to our Iridium Toolkit. And you can see we'll run the Iridium parser on the actual output.bits, and that will get us uh, our parsed file that we're gonna be looking for. And if you're wondering how to do that, they've got uh, steps to decode voice, which is what we're gonna, actually going to do. We're going to do something along those lines there. One thing that um, that you want to do, you can uh, you can well, you got two options, I guess. You can edit some files uh, to make this apply uh, every time that you're uh, doing it, or you can just do this here, which will last as so long as you uh, have your, you know, do it within the same terminal. So we want to export path, and we'll do user source, and it'll be Iridium Toolkit, and I'll explain. I'll explain why that's because we're going to pull down this decoder here. Pull down this decoder. Go into the user source. Okay, change into that directory. You'll change into Kodak. Run sudo make. 
that's going to make this file here. Let's copy that into the user source Iridium Toolkit. We'll change to the Iridium Toolkit. You see it's sitting there now. And so remember we, we exported the path here and that's going to come into play when we go to, to decode, decode this voice. Um, that way it knows the Iridium parser is sitting in this directory and you could edit some of these files and point it direct to that, but this uh, should be easy enough here. So uh, let's go ahead and we will run the parser on the, the outbit.bits file. We'll actually use, you can use PY, PY there, like it says, it speeds it up some. Um, I think I need to install that in the next build, but we can do Python too, because that's in here. So Python 2, Iridium parser, P. So we'll point the Iridium parser at the output.bits file, and then we'll tell it to output to the output.parse file. I take a second, depending on the size of the file. We will run the stats stats.voc on the output.parse file. That will pull up this window here. And you'll pick an area on here, you'll left click uh, with the mouse and then move the arrow and then right click. So let's try this. And you just have to mess with it till you get some audio. So I'm sure you know most of it's uh, encrypted, but I was able to make out quite a few things. All right, so you get the you get the idea there. Uh, I, I thought that was pretty cool. I had never used uh, well, really that type of antenna. I've never used a bias T. First time pulling something down uh, like that. I thought that was pretty impressive. Uh, if you follow along, hopefully 
you know, the flow of what I just did makes sense. Um, just pay attention, make sure you're exporting the path. Uh, otherwise, when you go to run this and play it back, you're going to get a, a warning about the codec uh, was not found. Um, just note that if you close out your terminal window and then try to run this again, make sure you do the export path. Um, otherwise, it's not going to work. So uh, that should be it. As long as you have the, the patch antenna and put the Kodak in like I did, then you should be able to pull down and do some, uh, do some things with the Iridium uh, toolkit. All right. Thanks.